We are in front of Jim Chalmers' office. Um, Jim Chama is representing um, thousands or from the Muslim community. We've come here to, to bring our message and our giant postcard to say Christmas is cancelled in Bethlehem and it's time to end the genocide. It's time to call for a genuine ceasefire, a permanent ceasefire, and to end the siege of Gaza. We were here a few weeks ago. Jim Chalmers wasn't here that day either, and it was a weekday. They closed the office because they refused to face up to us. It's a, it's a significant number within his electorate that we think he's decided to neglect. Those people have turned up when they felt helpless to their elected representative. They went there with stories, with tears, and then Jim Chalmers decided not to represent them. We delivered a letter that day to the office manager and we explained to him the basics of genocide and what was happening in Gaza. And his response to us that day was, well, that's your opinion. Shame. We've got a message for him. We've just had hundreds of people who were able to make it despite the heat um, and despite having already stood in the sun um, on a 34 degree day uh, for a couple of hours already. During genocide is no time to be celebrating. So look, all we know is that Christmas has been cancelled in Bethlehem um, in the entire Palestine and also the country, country surrounding Palestine because um, according to the priests, this is not a time to celebrate. It is not appropriate to, to um, hold celebrations when people are being killed in thousands, when children are being killed in thousands. This is not a time to celebrate. It is not appropriate to hold up Christmas trees and to gather around a Christmas tree wishing for, for a happy ending of the year when, when there are people being killed and massacred and ethnically cleansed. It is not appropriate. So we call on a cease, for a ceasefire. We call this, this government, this federal government, to demand a ceasefire. As Phil said, we demand freedom for Palestinians. And we also demand, as a matter of priority, that every one of those military export contracts issued by this federal government be revoked immediately. And that no, no further exports of military equipment, military technology, or anything related to the the war machine in Gaza be exported to that country. No more. No more. No more. Yes. Oh. I cry every time for Palestine, for the kids. You don't know how you're feeling when you see the people, they cutting the kids. So I can't talk English very good, but this is my worship. Please come every time. Every time you should come. You and your kids and your family. Everyone you should come. Please come.